Greetings folks, I have another exciting couple of baggies from Maytec. They always give me a thrill when they turn up. This is the F405 WSE, which is uh, an upgrade to the fan favorite, mm, the classic, the first, the one of the best wing flight control boards around, the uh, F405 wing. This is the F405 wing second edition or special edition. They've also given me a, a, a little um, M8Q5883 compass to go with it as well because that connects directly into the uh, F405 WSE. I have reviewed the um, M8Q5883 compass, uh, GPS and compass before and I have it mounted up here on my little Rover. Uh, great little compass, really like that one. Tiny size but works really well. So let's quickly un bag it and see what we get in the package. There have been quite a few changes, good changes too. There's the unit. The major addition is the external USB buzzer and DFU button which is a fantastic development. Uh, there's the original, you can see it is much smaller and uh, you can kiss goodbye to problems with breaking off the USB plug because there it is there on the external breakout board. I really like that idea. We've lost a top plate as well. Uh, we don't have the top plate, we only have a bottom plate. There it is there and the included uh, three color pins too, which are really good. We also get uh, a six pin, what are they? Uh, SH 1.0 plugs because you can plug the GPS and compass in here to the uh, second plug there and that takes up what is it US, uh, UART 4 I think that is all right so let's have a closer look uh, and we'll go to the pictures on the Maytech website because they're a lot clearer than I can get in real life Maytech website always has fantastic information has everything you need to know about wiring connecting uh, setting up downloads all of that sort of stuff so do yourself a favor go to the Maytech website if you have any questions about any flight control board made by Maytech that's the place to get your information yeah so the first thing to look at is the differences between the F405 wing and the F405 WSE you can see the size difference 56 millimeters as opposed to 44 millimeters long and 29 wide versus 36 wide current sensor uh, high precision 132 amp on the WSE compared to 104 amp. Uh, change the barometer from the old BMP 280 to the more accurate DPS 310 uh, and that is only supported in INAV 2.6 so you won't be able to set that up with 2.5. Uh, video transmitter and camera voltage regulator has gone from a choice of 9 volts and 12 volts, 2 amps, to 8 volts, 1.5 amps. USB has gone from micro USB to external C, USB C, and uh, lost 5 grams of weight as well. Close look at the layout. We have the battery pads up here. There's the arrow down there telling you which direction, uh, pointing away from the battery pads. Uh, and a bit of a change we have S1, S2 down here, which are the motor connections or the ESC connections that used to be near the battery pads on the uh, 405 wing. We've got S1, S2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 here. And we've got an S9 pin hidden somewhere. Is that underneath? Oh, here it is here. And uh, it says there are 10 PWM outputs. Uh, they count the LED as the 10th. So that's number 10. Servo or the PWM voltage is VX, which usually means that you can change it via a solder pad. I'll find out where that is later on. Uh, so down here we have the LED, uh, video transmitter and camera. We don't have camera switching on these F405 boards. Uh, doesn't really worry me. You can put an external switcher on if you want to, operated by PWM. We have a buzzer pad, but we don't need that because the buzzer is on the breakout board. We have two I squared C buses. There's one and there's two. We have uh, analog RSSI. Uh, and this is something I actually like about the F405 wing board. It doesn't have built-in inverters on the UARTs. There's only one that is uh, that does, and that's uh, UART2, this one here. And this is the inverted RX pin, uh, where you can plug your S-Bus receiver straight in. 
And I kind of like that because it means I always know exactly where to plug my receiver in when I'm swapping boards around. Uh, with other boards, I have to go back and sort of read the documentation to work out uh, or plug it in and work out where I've actually set up the S bus. So you are to the RX and the S bus are kind of the same, or the S bus is the inverted version of RX2. You are one, you are three, you are six, you are five. UART4 is uh, this connector here. You set up your GPS on UART4 in the uh, ports. SD card plugs in here. And here's the solder pad to increase the, uh, R, the VX voltage from five volts to six volts if you want slightly higher uh, voltage for your servos. Now the INAV target is Maytech F405SE. Uh, that catches quite a few people out, so just make sure you look for the SE target for the F405. Not always uh, the same as the name of the board. So, 6 to 30 volts, 6S, uh, 2 to 6S. And there's a note here in red telling you not to connect the 5 volt red wire from your ESC to the board. It doesn't need it. It provides its own 5 volts to the servo and power, powering the board. Pull that red wire out and terminate it and don't connect it to anything. And we can see the hole mounting for the board is uh, 25 millimeter. And for the uh, breakout board is 16 millimeter mounting. All right, so let's plug him into the configurator. USB-C on the breakout board, beautiful. Modern technology, look at that, connecting up. Nicely connected, we have configurator 2.6 and preloaded firmware 2.6. Normal calibration, ports, uh, UART 4 should be pre-set up for GPS. I'll have to do that actually. So UART 4 GPS. And I probably will be putting uh, DJI air unit connected to it. So I'll select that for UART 6. Configuration. You can see here we have the barometer, the DPS 310. Here's the old uh, 280, but we're with the new DPS 310 now. Uh, and we will be using GPS. Might as well use Galileo. So there you have it, the Maytech F405 WSE, a very nice update to a classic wing flight control board smaller size more accurate barometer breakout board for the usb-c all i have to do is decide which plane i'm going to put it on and we'll take it out for a flight in the near future thanks for watching